Hello friends, welcome back to Star Stylist Homestead. Um, late in the afternoon, I am in the mood for some junk food. So, I told you I was going to make these rolls that I made the other day. I had put a picture in between my video yesterday. Um, but I'm going to change them up a little bit. Um, I did not use the dry milk because I didn't have, well, I had it. I just didn't want to go out in the rain and get it. So I have it now. I'm going to use it this time just to see how they come out. I'm going to do a couple of them, just the rolls, just to see, but the rest of them, I'm going to make, um, cinnamon rolls <laughs> with them. So that being said, I have two cups of bread flour over there. I have a large egg. I didn't have it at room temperature, so it's sitting in hot water. I have my yeast, sugar, and milk in here, blooming. I have three tablespoons of powdered milk. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt into that because I'm, I just have unsalted butter. If you're using salted butter, you can skip the salt. Um, and that is all for this. So I am gonna, and I know my yeast is good, so I'm gonna start doing it now. I am gonna dump this all right into my mixer because I know it's good. If you don't know, wait until it blooms, okay? I just wanna get this going. Egg. Take a chance, it's good. <laughs> yep. There we go. I'm going to add my milk powder. Okay. Only thing I don't have in here right now is my butter. So I'm going to get this going. Mixing it up, I'm going to get my butter, um, it's already soft, so let me just grab it, one and a half tablespoons of salt, uh, butter I mean, so, I'm just going to add it in in pieces here. There we go. That's all there is to this. And let me tell you, these things came out amazing the other day. So, I'm going to get this mixed. All that flour in there. Just keep putting your sides down. You can do this by hand also, if you choose to. <laughs> I choose not to. Um... I just, I'm lazy. <laughs> I like my mixer. This dough comes out so soft and fluffy. It, oh, I said these would be really good if they were cinnamon rolls. So, I'm going to get this going. I have my dehydrator over there all warmed up because it's kind of chilly in here so that I can put the dough in there. Um, you want it to go a good six to seven minutes, you know, what dough looks like, you know, you don't want it really tacky, this isn't a tacky dough at all, so if you need more flour, sprinkle it a little in, but you'll know, if you need it, you'll know. So I'm going to let this go. When it's done, I'll show you. I'll be back. All right, friends. That took forever. <clears throat> now my dough is done. I took it out of the thing. Added oil. Oil. I'm going to drop it in. Roll it around. Flip it. And then I'm going to let it rise. This 
took less than an hour. So now I'm going to mix my other stuff. Let me go put cover this and put it in there, and I will be right back. All right, friends. Four ounces cream cheese, two tablespoons of softened butter. I have two-thirds cup of confectioner's sugar, powdered sugar for those of you who don't know, and a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just adding it all together, and I'm going to blend it up. And it's in this tiny little bowl, so I'm going to go really slow and keep my hand down because this is going to be a poof. Oh, not too bad. Yeah. And while that's going, oh, how about that? Hey, as that's going, I'll tell you in here, I mixed up uh, half a cup of brown, sh of brown sugar and about uh, um, one and a quarter tablespoons of cinnamon. And these aren't going to be rolled. These aren't going to be rolled the way they normally are. At least I'm going to attempt to not roll them that way. In my mind, um, if you've seen the picture of those rolls the other day, in my mind, I want to pinch those rolls with that inside. You know, flatten it, put it all on the inside, and then pinch the rolls. Then roll it in that, cook it, and then put this on it. So they're going to be a little messy. It's okay though, right? Okay, so that's done. That's done. Um, it's going to go on much better at room temperature, so I'm just going to cover this. I've got 45 minutes or so still for uh, for those who um, oh, look. I'm going to have to get a new spoon for those to rise. Is what I was trying to say. So. I'll bring you back when those are all done to show you what I do next. All right, friends, it's been an hour, doubled in size. This is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna punch it down, take the dough out. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Just gonna separate some of this. Okay, I got my pan lined. I'm just gonna pinch some dough. I'm gonna flatten it out. Get my thing here. Some soft butter, and each one. Okay, I'll just put a little bit in there. Now I'm just going to pull it all together, pinch it like that, roll it. You see how big those balls are, okay? And then I'm going to roll them inside this one. I'm not going to worry about how much is on there. And then I'm just going to sit them in the pan. Okay? Just pinch it out. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's some butter on there. I'm going to see if I can do it like this. 
Yep, that works too. And I'm just gonna bring it up, pinch it so it's all on the inside. Just like you're making dough or rolls. Okay? So it's inside and roll it. Now, the only thing with this is the egg wash that was supposed to be on the outside. I'll figure it out though. So let me do all these. I'm going to leave a couple of these undone. As a matter of fact, um, let me take one now, a couple now, so that I don't forget. Because I want to see how they come out with that milk product in there. <laughs> the powdered milk because I didn't use the powdered milk last time. So I'll put these off to the side. All right, what I think I'm gonna do, I rolled the sides and the bottom. I'm gonna leave the top of these undone so that I can do my egg wash on top. So I've got only two done. And the rest of them I'm gonna leave like that so I can do an egg wash. I'll be back. All right, friends. They're done, and I changed my mind again. I decided to just put it all over the top because I'm putting that cream cheese on it. These are the three just regular. So now I'm going to cover these for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Let them rise again. Just going to cover them with a towel, and then we'll put them in a 350 oven for... 17 to 22 minutes depending on your oven so I'll I'll do 15 and check it and then I'll be back I'll be back when these are done all right friends it's been about 15 minutes here we have our rolls they are going in the oven I'm not even putting an egg wash on the regular rolls either I'm gonna set those for 15 minutes and I will be back when they come out and let you know how long these took at that size. Let me put you down. Look at those. I am going to take this whole thing and set it right up here on my rack. Okay. I'll bring you a little closer here. I'm going to take these rolls off because these are literally just rolls. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this and put it all over the top while it's nice and hot because they just came out. These were in there for 20 minutes and they still browned even the way I did them, so that was good. Those middle ones are going to be yummy. Like all that melting there. Got to get the sides. Get it all, my friends. Because you know the cream cheese. Some of the best part of these things. All right. Now. Mmm. While those cool, let me bring you up here. I'm going to take one of these and look at the inside of that. Doesn't that look good? Let me put a little butter. I don't want to waste... I don't want to waste eating this. So I'm only going to eat a piece of it and taste it. Mmm. That's just as good as the other day. So. Mmm. Those are good. I have to have one of these. Alrighty, now I'm going to try it. 
Let's tear it open. Look. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look at the inside of that. Yummy. Let's dip. Mm. Ouch. Oh my God. Those are just as amazing as the big ones. Look, guys. On the inside. Let me tear that. It's all over, just like if you had laid it out. And these were much easier. Mm. I need to get some of this cream. Put it on the inside, too. Those are so good. And friends, they're small enough that you could have two. <laughs> and it still wouldn't be the size of a regular one. Those are amazing. Oh my God, they are amazing. You've got to try them. That recipe is just other than the powdered milk is just about the same as my wool recipe, wool bread. There's a little difference in mm, bread flour. And I think that's why the inside is so fluffy because I used the bread powder, got flour. Oh my God, these are good. And it's 8.13. It's almost my bedtime. Anyway, there you have it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you. Um... Keep watching for more because I'm in the mood to bake. It's starting to get a little chilly. I got sweatpants on today. I'm ready for the fall. Love you guys. I'll see you again soon. Or you'll see me. Ciao for now.